Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at the negative binomial distribution. Now we'll come across the details of it shortly, but if you're familiar with the binomial distribution and the geometric distribution and Bernoulli trials, it sort of fits into that sort of bracket, that sort of category. And also, it, like the geometric distribution, there are two different ways of formulating a negative binomial. So there's a, essentially a type 1 and a type 2. So we'll come to that shortly. So, suppose that in a group of insurance policies, which are independent as regards of currents of cl uh, as regards of currents of claims, twenty percent of the policies have incurred claims during the past year. So that's the probability of a success. P equals zero point two. Okay, and it's a Bernoulli trial. Uh, a yes or no outcome for a particular trial. An auditor is examining the policies in, in the group one by one in random order until two policies with claims are found. Okay. Determine the probability that exactly five policies have to be examined before two claims are found. Okay. So this is what sets up the, bino or the negative binomial distribution. How many Bernoulli trials must occur before you get a certain number of outcomes that's one way of uh, specifying it okay it doesn't actually there's two different ways of specifying it which will come to them shortly but essentially exactly five policies okay so there's going to be five trials and we're going to and essentially what's the probability that two of them will be successes okay so suppose uh, sorry the second question is find, uh, find the expected number of policies that have to be examined until two policies with claims are found okay so if you uh, on, on average how many do you have to search before you get two suppose that there is a sequence of independent trials and thus each trial has two independent outcomes success and failures in each trial the probability of success and failure is denoted p and one minus p respectively okay so that's just essentially a Bernoulli trial I but pretty much talked about that earlier already now so there's two distributions the binomial there's the type one and type two so they're similar enough, but there's a subtle difference between the two. This approach models the number of failures in a sequence. Okay, that's the key thing there, denoted K. Uh, in a sequence of independent and ind identically distributed Bernoulli trials before a specified number of successes, denoted R, is found. Okay? Does that sound like our, our question? Yes, no, think. We'll just wait until we see the second one. Okay? The... Then the number of failures, as we've seen, x will have a negative binomial or Pascal distribution. Okay, so essentially what we're looking at is the number of uh, failures before you get a certain amount of successes. Now that seems like what we're looking for, okay? But um, it actually, you know, we can actually use this one actually, just like rather than just slightly rephrase the question. Uh, determine the probability of exactly five policies have to be examined before two policies with claims are found. So that could ac actually be three failures. Okay. So let's think about that one for a second. Now that's the probability mass function there for that. Okay. So yeah, that's it there. That's the key thing there. So R is the number of successes. P is the probability of success. F is the number. K is the number of failures. And this is the mean and the variance, respectively. Okay, so it's not dissimilar from the binomial distribution. It has the same sort of structure, but with slightly different coefficients. Now, we we'll go on to type two. So this approach models the number of trials. Actually, should I have an S there? Noted N in a sequence of identically independent, identically distributed trials before a specified number of non-random number of successes denoted R occurs. Okay. This sounds more like it. It's explicitly we're told n is equal to 5. Okay? That's a, it, what we're explicitly told in the question. Now, you can rephrase the question. Okay? That's the number of trials that have to be examined. So, 5 trials. You can rephrase the question to actually just look at it the other way. The type, two, the type 1 format. But we'll just sort of stick with this one. Okay? Just because we clearly have n equal to 5 and r is equal to 2. So that's the probability mass function there as well. Okay, and again, not it's the same sort of construction. Uh, just as a remark, the numbers are slightly different uh, when compared to the previous type two case. Okay, so don't get them mixed up. Just think 
explicitly in terms of uh, k and or n and r in this instance okay so the mean here is r over p okay and the variance there is r times 1 minus p over p squared okay so for this case what we're going to say here we're going to go with type 2 okay and what we're going to sort of say here is n is equal to 5 p is equal to 0 0.2 r is equal to 5 let's write that down there and that's pretty much everything we need so we'll go with the type 2 formulation here n minus 1 the choose operator of n minus 1 choose r minus 1 okay 5 minus 1 choose 2 minus 1 is 4 choose 1 which is 4 uh, 1 minus p to the power of n minus r times p to the power of r which is 1 minus 0 0.2 to the power of 5 minus 2 which is 0 0.83 p to the power of r is 0 0.2 to the squared okay so working that out you should get an answer of 0 0.0819 okay just around 8.2 uh, 8.2 percent the expected number is the mean of the negative binomial distribution for type 2 okay and so that's r divided by p that's 2 divided by 0 0.2 which gives us 10. so essentially what we should do is if we're looking for two successes we should expect to be looking for uh, looking through 10 policies okay we'll leave it there that's grand so that's a negative binomial okay uh, what I might do is in another video actually just looking from the point of view of type 1